Hi guys, it's Rashmi here. Welcome to my channel, a trusted resource for evidence-based nutrition and supplementation. In today's video, I am going to share 10 tips that will help you to reduce your sugar intake. They are simple, effective, and they work. So if you are excited, then hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Tip number one, eat more proteins. A diet high in proteins reduces hunger pangs and cravings, whereas a high sugar intake increases appetite and weight gain. Protein helps the body to feel satisfied for longer period of time. A study showed that increasing protein by 25% reduced cravings by 60%. Good protein sources can be cheese, paneer, tofu, different kinds of beans, then eggs, chicken, fish and beef. Next tip is to eat more healthy fats. A diet high in fat is also related to reduced appetite. So you can get your healthy fats from nuts like almonds, walnuts, then avocado, chia seeds, flax seeds and coconut oil. So a diet high in proteins and healthy fats will not cause insulin release. So they keep your blood sugar levels more stable and as a result, you will have less sugar cravings. Next tip is to focus on whole foods. Whole foods are not processed or refined and are free of additives and artificial substances which are commonly found in processed foods. Simple processed foods generally include basic bread and cheese, whereas ultra processed foods include soft drinks, colas, cereals, pizzas and desserts. These are the foods which contain soft salt, sugar and fats along with colors, artificial flavors, emulsifiers, etc. 90% of the added sugar come from ultra processed foods, whereas 8.7% come from home cooked foods. So try to cook your food from scratch and you do not have to cook elaborate meals, but by simple techniques like marinating your foods in spices and herbs can give great results. Tip number four, do not drink sugar. Take a minute and think about what you drink in a typical day. Unless you are a true water lover, you might be getting some extra calories and added sugars through soft drinks, soda, cola, coffee, iced tea, energy drinks and juices. Sugar sweetened beverages are number one source of added sugar in our diet. So try to replace these drinks with unsweetened tea, coffee, homemade smoothies, plain water or my favorite fruit infused water. These are super easy to make and you can be too creative by adding different ingredients for this water. You can also check this video wherein I have shared how sugary beverages can wreck your weight loss efforts too. Tip number five, avoid artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners are much sweeter than sugar and have no calories. But this can trick your brain into thinking that you are actually eating sugar and this increases cravings. Artificial sweeteners can boost appetite by activating hunger pathways in the body. And this will make it much more difficult to stick to a no sugar diet. So try to avoid artificial artificial sweeteners like stevia, splenda, nutra sweet and equal. You can also look for chemical names in the ingredient list which are sucralose, saccharin, aspartame, neotame and acesulfame potassium. Tip number six, avoid keeping sugary snacks at home. If you have sugar filled snacks at home, then you will reach out to them when you are hungry. Studies have shown that your body clock increases hunger and cravings for sweet and starchy foods in the evening. So in that case, try to distract yourself by involving into some activity to shift your mind into something else. A change in thought and environment will help to stop your cravings. But if distraction doesn't work, then try to stock up on some healthy, low sugar snacks like nuts and seeds, unsweetened yogurt, nut butters which can be had with whole wheat crackers, toast, fresh fruits and vegetable sticks. And for more options you can check out this video 
for more snack ideas. This moves us to the next tip, which is planning your meals. Try to plan your meals for a couple of days or for a week. By planning your meals, you eliminate the factor of uncertainty. So when cravings strike in, you will reach out to healthy, nutritious snacks if things are planned out and you will have less temptation for soda and candy. Tip number eight, read food labels. Reading food labels can be tricky and highly misleading. One of my tip is to completely ignore health claims mentioned on the front of the packaging as front labels are often used to attract people into buying products. First rule of thumb is to check first three ingredients as they form the largest part of the product and then look for sugar in the list. But it's not easy to identify added sugar because it has 61 different names. And I don't expect you to know these names. So I have listed sugar names in the description box below. So the most common ones include sugar, brown sugar, cane sugar, honey, and syrups like malt syrup, corn syrup, or high fructose corn syrup, maple syrup, agave syrup, golden syrup, and even rice syrup. Also look for words ending with O-S-E-O's like fructose, glucose, sucrose and lactose. These are all sugars. So to keep it simple, best is to avoid processed foods as whole foods doesn't need an ingredient list. But still, if you have to buy a packaged food, then be mindful and make smart choices as per the suggestions given in this video. Next step is to gradually reduce your sugar intake. This is one of the important steps because cutting sugar sugar drastically from your diet will be difficult to tackle and sustain. Start slowly by first reducing the amount of sugar added to your tea and coffee. Use cinnamon and milk to flavor your tea and coffee. Similarly, you can use fresh fruits or unsweetened dried ones in your cereals, porridges and yogurt. Removing soda and sugary beverages is also an excellent way to start with. Last tip is to get sufficient sleep. Yes, studies show that insufficient sleep is associated with increased hunger, especially cravings for sweets and snacks as poor sleep changes the level of key hormones. Hunger control hormone ghrelin increases and appetite suppressing hormone leptin decreases, whereas stress hormone cortisol increases stimulating appetite. Don't forget to check these two videos on ghrelin and leptin as both these hormones are are very important in regulating satiety and hunger. So pay attention to your sleep when you are trying to cut down sugar from your diet. But what is life if you don't live it? So if you have a sweet tooth, then you can opt for healthy sugar alternatives. Watch this video wherein I have shared five healthy sugar alternatives. But don't go overboard as in the end, they are all sugar, so use them in moderation. And studies show that excess sugar only contribute to obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. So there is no point to cut down sugar completely from your diet. Problem is, when we eat only sugar in the form of soft drinks, cola, candy, along with high carb foods. So allow yourself occasional treats and find a balance that works for you. So if you like this video and learned something new, then give a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next episode.